Buffalo National Park is the second largest national park in the world. Wood Buffalo has quite a wide diversity of, of visitor opportunities. There's quite a number of places to go hiking. Pine Lake has some beautiful canoeing. And there's a number of areas for picnics and for people to get outside and just enjoy the scenery and the wildlife. The moose and bison and the whooping crane. There's seven First Nations and four Métis groups, all located in communities associated with Wood Buffalo National Park. The Métis came here with the fur trade. Métis and their families lived all over the park. They made their living out of the park, traveling up and down the river. They traded in the furs, they worked for parks, they worked for church. I think they were very integral to the park. I remember my great-grandfather, Peer, used to take us up to Monument Hill and Fort Chip, and he'd tell us stories of our people. He always talked about the family because for him and my grandfather, my dad, it was important to know your history. Family is very important to the Métis and especially in this area because my great-great-great-grandfather, Francois Beaulieu II, had up to nine wives and now there's approximately 7,000 living descendants. We had to be one of the first families to really be settled here in, in Fort Chip because my two grandfathers owned all the land from this church down to the dock on the, on the lake shore. I was born here 76 years ago, so uh, it's uh, been home. My parents are Métis and I'm Métis. When the park was formed in 22, all the Métis were kicked out of the park and lost their rights. They didn't allow Métis people to trap or hunt in the park. And there was a hue and outcry from the Métis because they had trapped there for generations and hunted there for generations. And so they allowed the Métis in the southern part of the park, but not the northern. The Métis north of the Peace River they have been excluded from harvesting until about 2003. They're really just starting to get back into the park, starting to rebuild those connections. Cooperative management is a mechanism by which Aboriginal groups share their concerns and their issues with Parks Canada to have input into how the park might be managed in the future, to develop new, updated harvesting regulations. And the Métis are definitely a, a big part of that. There's 11 groups in the different communities that border the park that are involved at the table, so it's not only my say. I mean, sure, I have my opinions, but uh, it's got to be a united front on the, the issues that we're working on with parks. I think that'll take some time because the feelings are so close to the surface right now. I have faith that things will change for the better. We took a big step in gaining our rights back. I'd like to see my grandkids harvesting in the park, just like I do now. We are committed to what we have started. All the Métis people are very strong in what we believe. We are a culture, we are a people. We are here, we're not going any place. The spirit of the Métis is very strong. <laughs>